Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send photos from iPhone to Windows. If you own an iPhone and use a Windows PC, you've probably wondered how to easily transfer your photos and videos between them. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you three simple methods to transfer your an iPhone to a Windows PC. And the best part, these methods are completely free. Whether you prefer using a USB cable or going wireless, I've got you covered. So let's dive in. The first and probably the most straightforward method is using a USB cable. It may seem basic, but it's a reliable way to transfer your photos and videos. Here's how you do it. Connect your iPhone to the PC using the USB cable. You'll see a prompt on your iPhone asking you to authorize the connection. Tap trust and enter your passcode. On your PC, a new window will pop up showing your iPhone's folders. Then open File Explorer. Then click on iPhone folder. Browse the folders to locate your photos and videos. Open any folder here. Then select photos you want to copy or cut from your PC to iPhone. After selecting them, right-click on them, then click on Copy. Then paste it anywhere on your PC. This method is great for quickly moving the most recent files, but it's not always the best for large batches or for organizing everything in one go. If you prefer something more organized, let's move on to method two. If you want a more organized way to manage your photos, the Windows Photos app is an excellent option. Here's how it works. Click on bottom left search bar, then search for Photos app, then open it. Once it is opened, in the top right corner, click on the Import button, select your iPhone from the list. Let the Photos app load your media. This can take a few minutes, especially if you have a lot of files. The app organizes everything by date, making it easy to scroll through. Select the photos and videos you want to transfer. You can choose specific items or import everything at once. Select the photos you want to save on PC. If you want to save all files, click on this Select All button. Then click on this top right button. Then click on Import button. One downside to this method is that it can be slow and sometimes it fails when transferring larger files, especially videos. Apple's ecosystem might not be optimized for Windows, and it seems like they want to push users toward Mac or iCloud. Speaking of iCloud, that brings us to our next point. Open Microsoft Store app. Once it is opened, click on the search bar. The end search for iCloud, then install this app. One of its advantages are that it creates a separate folder in Foot's app. Once the iCloud app is installed, click on it to open it. Then give it all the permissions it asks. Then click on Done. Have a USB cable handy, or if you're not using iCloud, don't worry, there's a great wireless alternative called AirDisk. You can download it from the App Store for free. First in your iPhone, open the App Store. Once it is opened, click on the bottom right search button, then search for AirDisk app. Then click on the AirDisk app. Then install it. Once app is installed, open the app, then click on bottom plus button, then click on photo library, then upload the photos you want share. Once you have selected the photos, click on top right import button, then click on bottom right button, then click on Wi-Fi file transfer. Now on your Windows PC, open any web browser and type in the exact URL that AirDisk provides, then click on enter. Download the files directly to your PC. You'll now see a page showing all your selected photos and videos. From here, select photos or videos. Simply download them to any folder on your computer. This method is my personal favorite because it works really well for larger files, especially videos, and it's super convenient when you don't have a cable nearby. Plus, it's quick and free. And that's how you send photos from iPhone to Windows. If you found value in this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more helpful guides. See you in the next one.